Hey, thanks for coming by and checking out Pete's Snake Bite Kid again. Today we're going to look at another car museum. And believe it or not, it's just a couple miles from my house in Utah. Hey, just imagine walking into a mall, and then as you're walking through the mall, you see this thing staring at you in the face out of a shop. That's a nice surprise. Before we moved to Utah, we lived in San Clemente, and there's cars and coffees all over Southern California, as I'm sure a lot of you know. I really miss just rolling down the street to the cars and coffee by my house on Saturday mornings and seeing millions and millions of dollars of really cool cars uh, from all over the map. So I kind of miss that part. Honestly, that's one of the things I miss the most about Southern California. So to find a museum here in Utah was kind of a treat. So anyway, let's take a quick look around this museum. It's not a great big one. It's not a super fancy one, but let's take a look and see what they have. Keep moving, folks. We're walking. We're walking. More than a million visitors Another go through the wagon. Is that a 210? I'm not sure. 57. Another resto mod with an LS in it. How unique. Looks like their Corvette section here. They got some pretty cool ones here. Looks like a couple here are uh, like modern iterations of some small block fuel injected stuff. And then here, is this a Corvette from Corvette Summer? Or is it just, gotta love a good looking Z28. Kind of bumblebee looking. Here looks like a Trans Am Burt Reynolds special. And it's only got 68,000 original miles on it. Could someone explain to me what the difference is between original miles and not original miles? I always wondered that. Here's a really cool looking resto mod of a Jeep wagon here. got an LS in it. How weird is that? Sweet looking Mercedes GT. Especially if you like butterscotch candy. These are single seat sports cars built in the UK. Pretty cool looking, I guess. It's a four wheel version of a crotch rocket. But you could have fun in those things. Here's a representation of some modern, semi-modern classics from Chrysler. I just wonder why that Prowler didn't do better. That's a pretty cool design. There's a small stable of Mustangs. These all look pretty sweet. Here we got a few Vipers. And you know how upset I was going to be if there's no Cobras here. Look like there is one car. So let's take a closer look at the Cobra. Pretty nice looking car. The roll bar is a little wide for my taste. Not sure why they would make that so much wider than an original car. Looks like it's got kind of passenger car looking inside door handles. So there we have it. Pretty wicked looking Resto Mod Z car. Looks like it's got a full cage in it. I think it's ready for some action. Got a row of Lotuses here, which is cool. These things have always been a very light, nimble, good handling car. I've always wanted to get to drive one of those little Lotus deals. What car museum is complete without a trio of Hodakas in them? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Any movie that's centered around somebody restoring an old race car is cool. This is a prop from a play. Somebody did a Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. 
Not really sure what category this Jeep goes in. But it does go in the super cool, unique category, that is for sure. Hey, I hope you enjoyed getting a peek at the Automotive Addiction Museum. And they actually have two locations, that one in South Jordan, and they have one in Provo. I'll throw the maps up there. Until next time, you guys stay safe, and we'll see you on the next one.